if theta lies between pi and 2 pi and z is equal to 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta then write the value of mod z z is equal to 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta and since we know that 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 and sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and here theta lies between pi and 2 pi so where theta by 2 lies between pi by 2 and pi in the second quadrant so z is equal to so we can add 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2 plus i sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 so we can take out 2 cos theta by 2 common so we had cos theta by 2 plus i times sin theta by 2 this is it now let us find the mod z mod z is equal to modulus of 2 cos theta by 2 into mod of sorry cos theta by 2 plus i sin theta by 2 so 2 is constant we can bring out z and mod of cos theta by 2 into modulus of cos theta by 2 plus i sin theta by 2 since we know that modulus of z1 z2 is equal to mod z1 into mod z2 so which is equal to 2 times and since theta by 2 belongs to the second quadrant cos theta by 2 will be negative cos theta by 2 is negative so we can consider mod of cos theta by 2 is minus cos theta by 2 minus cos theta by 2 and modulus of cos theta plus i sin theta if z is equal to a plus i b then mod z is equal to root over a square plus b square so we can add here root over cos square theta by 2 plus sin square theta by 2 so cos square theta by 2 plus sin square theta by 2 for any angle it is equals to 1 it's an identity so we can add here this is minus 2 cos theta by 2 into square root of 1 we will consider 1 here so that is minus 2 cos theta by 2 is the answer so modulus of 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta is minus 2 cos theta by 2 okay thank you